Bonsoir. Bonne nuit. How was that? Terrible. 36 seconds. Just 20 seconds too long. But it can't be done in less, Chief. If we are to lift the Mona Lisa from the Louvre, it must be done in 16 seconds, otherwise it is no use. And there's only one bloke who can do the job. Archie, Archie Jones. Jones. <laughs> I suppose you would like me to write to the governor of Blackmore Prison and ask him to give him the weekend off. Fellas, they've got out of jug before now. He went from Blackmore with a little outside help. What do you mean? Well, if you'd like to make it worth me while, I might be able to manage something. If you could get Jones to Paris, you could name your own term. It's a deal. Do you think you could do it? <laughs> well, I don't know yet. Now, let me think. Artie's got a son at school in England. If I can get in touch with him... Don't breathe the hard, you're the lockdown. Look out, chaps, here he comes. Ah, yes, yeah, very clever. I thought that was meant for me. Well, it could all stand into a thousand lines. You can't do that. Oh, why not? It isn't cricket. Isn't it? Yeah, well, you watch me knock you for the six. Come on. <laughs> I see. Yeah, it's very clever. Well, you can do two thousand lines. This morning, we'll take physics. Not me. What do you mean, not you? If I say we take physics, we take physics. Count me out. I had an apple. Yeah. <laughs> Silence, boys! Silence! Silence! Discipline! I want discipline! I want shush! When I say I want shush, I'm going to have shush. Thank you. We'll take physics. Now, the velocity of one electrical unit passing through water shall be equal to the same... The velocity should equal 14 times the mean velocity divided by half the molecular resistance of the water. Well, what's that mean? Uh, what's that? What's that mean? Well, that means that the... Uh, uh, you heard what I said. Now, let A equal the velocity of the uh, electrical unit. Uh, 14B equals the molecular resistance of the water and 4C equals the magnetic attraction of the constitutional elements. Now, that gives us 14B plus 4C divided by A. Wrong. What? It's wrong. It should be divided by B. Oh, you... listen, who's doing this, you or me? Well, you are. All right, well, let me do it. Well, do it right. Divide it by B. Listen, if I want to divide it by A, I'll, I'll divide it by A. I know what I'm doing. I don't need help from you. <coughs> As I was saying, boys, that gives us... 14B plus uh, 4C uh, divided by B. <coughs> yes. <coughs> well, come on. Come on. Come on. Don't sit there gaping at me. Go on, work it out. Come on. Get a move on. Get on with it. Come on, you. Hey, come on. Come on, work it out. Why, what's your idea? Well, you've got to find the quotient. Find the what? Find the quotient. How do you spell it? Uh, spell it? Well, it doesn't say. It just says find it. Oh, well, let's play something else. It, play? This is not a game. What do you think you've come to school for? Go to the bottom of the class. Well, I am at the bottom of the class. Well, go to the top and there may be on the lap behind. Come on. Hey, 
Okay, come on, come on, come on. What are you doing there? What have you got down? Nothing at all. Come on, well, put it down. 1A plus 14B. 14B what? Uh, well, 14B... Uh, uh, how do I know? I'm only giving you what it says here. I'm not making it up. Don't ask silly questions. Pay attention. Stand up. What is the unit of electricity? Did you hear what I said? Yes. Well, why did you answer my question? I didn't hear it. Well, you said, said you did. I didn't. I said I heard what you said. But what did I say? What is a unit of electricity? Well, what's the answer? Yes. Yeah. Are you balmy or am I? I'm not. <laughs> will, will you answer my question? What is a unit of electricity? A what? A unit of electricity. A unit of electricity is a what? Well, that's what I'm asking you. That's what it is. What what is? A what? The boy's a perfect idiot. I mean, a unit of electricity is called a what? <laughs> oh. Well, why do you say so at first? <laughs> You're wasting a lot of time over oh, oh, nothing, nothing at all. In any case, you're wrong because it's a no. Now, what is a no? Does anybody know? I know. Huh? What is it? Something what there's no place like. That's a home, my boy. The place you ought to be in. I'm talking about O. O H M S. I know. That's what they put on top of the letters you tear up. <laughs> Silence, boy. Silence. Silence. Be quiet. Oh, hey, sure he wants. Hey, where are you going to? What's it got to do with you? Yeah, yeah I say. Well, you might at least close the window. Hmm. Well, if nobody's any objection, we'll now get on with the physics. Now, uh, oh. Albert Brown, come here. Is this your work? No, it's a little sideline. Well, how dare you turn my classroom into a gambling den? Making a book isn't gambling. It's a dead cert. It's a what? Well, I, I've never heard of such a thing. In my classroom, on my blackboard. Why, it's scandalous. That's what it is. Taking money from your innocent schoolfellows? Money that should go towards paying my fees? How much have you taken? One pound seven and nine pence eight, Oh, put it on the desk. Yes, but... Never mind all the arguments. Put it on the desk. Well, there's only nine potatoes there. Where's the rest of it? That's all already. The rest is on the never. Yeah. I said, come here. Do you know you're heading for ruin? But don't you know that gambling is a national curse? It's undermining the whole social structure. Why, why, this sort of thing? You... Well, you haven't got down all the runners. Where's Galloping Moses? He isn't running. Yeah. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, yes. Look here. There you are. The above have arrived. Galloping Moses. I'm not laying him. He's a favourite. Yeah. Cool. Do you hear that? There's Honest Albert for you. Making a book without laying the favourite. <laughs> Eh? Honest. Oh, honest. 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 All right. 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 you. right. Yeah. Are you talking to me? Yes. Well, how dare you bust in here and say, oh, you? You speak to me in a proper manner. What do you want? There's a bloke in the study who wants to see you. Yeah. A bloke? What do you mean, bloke? Why don't you try and speak English? Well, tell the bloke I'll be... Uh, tell the gentleman I'll be right along. Righto, cop. Yeah. Huh? Well, go on, boys. Get back to your desk. Get on with your work till I come back. 
for you. Put me a pound of ten shillings on Galloping Moses. All right. Now, listen. All you have to do is to slip this to your father when the warders ain't looking. What is it? Shit, shit, wait. Oh, Jones, what I see you put in your pocket? Nothing, sir. Well, let me see, whatever it is. Oh, it's nothing, Governor, nothing at all. Well, who are you? Oh, I'm a friend of his dad's. And Percy here has been saving up all his pennies to buy his old man a little present to take to him next visiting day at the prison. <laughs> oh, yes, because he's doing five years, isn't he? Seven. Is it seven? Oh, of course, I was thinking of Smith Miner's father. And what's the nature of the little present? Oh, something for him just to pass away the weary hours. Oh, very commendable. I trust it'll help to take him out of the atmosphere of the prison walls. And we hope so, too. <laughs> <laughs> Time and he got a voice. Can't he shout? You boys quite sure you can see all this to be seen? Peeping through keyholes? Who's in there? It's a new governor with Lady Bagshot. Get off carrying on. Carrying on? Well, in my study. Here, move over. Let's have a look. Look at this. And this. And this. I should wait until you see Dr. Twist before jumping to conclusions. Come on, come on. It's our turn. We were here first. Yeah, get out, get out. It's my door, isn't it? Come on. <laughs> Inquisitive little monkeys. No, oh, Dr. Twist, let me introduce you to Colonel Willoughby Gore, late of the Indian Army. He's our new governor. Oh, how are you, governor? Pleased to meet you. Perhaps you won't be so pleased when you hear what I've got to say. Why, what's the trouble? Trouble? In the first place, look at that. Oh, that? <laughs> Rather good, isn't it? Hey, the boys made it, little rascals. Like to see your work? See? <laughs> They're ingenious, isn't it? Oh. Well, boys will be boys, you know. <laughs> Enough of this nonsense. When can I inspect the school? Oh, any time you like. What about next week? Next week? Oh, well, if that's too soon, uh, say the week after. Why not now? Uh, when? I said now. Oh, oh, now? Oh, well, well. in that case, I, I think I'd better run along and prepare them. Prepare them for what? Well, you, you, you never know what the little devils... Uh, you see, uh, they may not be expecting anybody. Oh. Yes. Here we are. Only the one I can call. Six the ball, when does nine. Six the ball, when does nine. Hundred to one. Yes. <laughs> Fine old song, that, wasn't it? Do you remember it? In 64 on a winter's night, cheerily, let me let you uh, I think we'd better try the other door. This one sticks a little bit. Uh, 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 the captain said the foes inside just warn the lad, yo ho. Just warn the lad, yo ho. Uh, just warn the lad, yo ho. What are we waiting for? Aren't we going in? Uh, oh, yes, yes, certainly, yes. Good morning, boys. Good morning, Dad. Well, boys, I'd like to introduce to you uh, our new governor, Colonel Willoughby Gore. Willoughby who? Gore. Blimey. No, just Gore. <clears throat> you make it down, boys. Is this part of the morning lesson? Uh, no. Well, uh, yes. Oh, well, what do you mean? I mean this Agincourt business. Uh, oh, that. Uh, that's, uh, that's history. Uh, you, you know, the Battle of Agincourt. Well, what's the six to one idea? Uh... Well, that's, that's my system of teaching. You've, uh, you've heard of Pelmanism. Well, I call mine Tristanism. I've got it on my chart here. I'll show you, if you like. Oh, no, no, never mind that. It's perfectly... How can you explain Agincourt, six to one? Well, there were the odds. <clears throat> odds? Uh, I mean, the, uh, you see, we fought against fearful odds. There were, there were six Frenchmen to one Englishman. You remember the Battle of Agincourt? Uh, there was uh, the, uh, the White Prince, who was um, uh, third cousin of the Black Prince, uh, met the French under the uh, fair maid, you know, it was Joan of Arc, you see, on her 21st birthday. See. Well, there were a there were hundred uh, pikemen to one regiment, but uh, as neither side attacked, well, uh, th there was nothing doing until the, uh, the 13th of the 8th, that was the 13th of August. And then the, uh, the French uh, rallied round their leader, uh, uh, as a matter of fact, it was half past 12. No, uh, 20 to 1, that was right to be precise, 20 to 1, they rallied round and shouted their famous battle cry, Leap, Frogs and Atom. Uh, yes, isn't it? <laughs> uh, one moment. What's this? Bengal Lancer? What's a Bengal Lancer to do with the Battle of Agincourt? Uh, a Bengal Lancer? Well, uh, well, well, you see, according to my system, uh, the, uh, the Bengal Lancer... Uh, the Bengal Lancer was... Uh, uh, <laughs> well, sir, the Bengal Lancers carry long poles with spikes on the end. And, uh, and so did the soldiers at Agincourt. Thank you, Albert. Not quite right, but most helpful. You see, what he means to say is that the Bengal Lancer is one of the only surviving units of the British Army that still carries a spike, uh, I mean a pike, like the old pike and uh, the old pike men used to do, you see? But surely I don't have to tell an old soldier like you anything about the Bengal Lancer, do I? Certainly not. Oh, well, that's settled then. <clears throat> well, as an old Indian Army man, I'm very gratified to see that the great country of India has been included in your studies. Yeah, yeah. 
Have you told them anything of the social life in India? Well, I thought they were a bit young for that. Huh? Well, of course, I told them other things, you know, such as uh, where it is. Oh. Now, can any boy tell me the name of an Englishman famous in the history of India who was born in the year 1725? What part of 1725, sir? The beginning or the end? May 1725. Oh, May. I don't know. Good gracious, boy, don't you know that Clive of India was born in 1725? Now, you. What happened in 1728? Clive of India was three years old. Oh, you ignorant junk blockhead. Oh, don't be hasty, you know. After all, the boy's right in a way. Oh, we'll ask them something more elementary. Here, you. Yes, sir? Name me six animals found in India. A tiger, sir. Yes, well, come on, six animals found in India. A tiger and uh, a tiger and five elephants. Oh. Well, that's absurd, Watson. You know very well that elephants come from China. Oh! Huh? This is confounded nonsense. I came here expecting to find a spark of intelligence, and what do I find? A lot of undisciplined, half-witted ula kabuchos. A lot of what, sir? Ula kabuchos. No, bad language, please. Really, Colonel? Bad language may put it Hindustani. Ula kabucha simply means son of a... Behave yourself, sir. None of your barrack square stuff here. I merely said ula... Don't repeat it, Colonel. But it simply means... That's enough. That's enough. Oh, God. Very well, you'll hear more of this. I shall make a report to the Board of Education. Dr. Twist is utterly incompetent, and I demand that he be relieved of his office at once. Well, Dr. Twist, have you anything to say? Lady Bagshot, Mr. President, gentlemen, and Colonel Willoughby Gore. <clears throat> Before you deprive me of my livelihood, there's one thing you should bear in mind. I've studied the psychology of my boys. I know them. I love them. <coughs> the boys of St. Michael's would do anything to me, uh, for me. Because I treat them as boys, and not as Bengal lancers. Oh. The Colonel claims that the boys couldn't answer the questions. Why couldn't they? Well, possibly he didn't ask them the right ones. We were all said and done. The, the boys can't answer questions if they don't know the answers, can they? My questions could have been answered in a kindergarten. For instance, why is New York five hours behind Greenwich time? Answer, because New York was discovered much later than Greenwich. Well, it was, wasn't it? Now, in my system, uh, if you'll allow me... Question. How do you produce a vacuum? Answer. Suck the air out of a bottle and put the cork in quick. Absolutely impossible. Well, uh, have you ever tried to produce a vacuum that way? Certainly not. Well, I suggest that before you say it's impossible, you ought to get a bottle and uh, suck it and see. Now, uh, as I was saying, in my educational system... Dr. Twist, what exactly is your system? Thank you. <coughs> now, it is an indisputable fact... Uh, would you hold this uh, for me? May I help you, Doctor? Oh, thank you. As I was saying, gentlemen, it is an indisputable fact that the human mind is influenced by the astral bodies. Now, at the present time, Leo is in the ascendant. And as we all know, Leo the lion stands for strength. So today, the boys are doing physical jerks. It's a lot of absolute nonsense. <laughs> well, not according to old Moore. He says that the natural influence of the month of one's birth is definitely felt throughout one's lifetime. Oh. Do you deny that, sir? Most certainly I do. Well, might I ask, uh, what was the date of your birth? What's that got to do with it? I feel it would be better if you would cooperate, Colonel, and answer the question. Very well, if you insist. April the 1st. Uh, need I say any more, gentlemen? <coughs> but this is a lot of balderdash. There he goes again. That's exactly how I behave with the boys. He stormed into the classroom, asked them a lot of ridiculous questions, and when the boys couldn't answer, he, he swore at them in Hindustan. I did not swear. I simply called them sons of owls. Oh, well, it didn't sound like that to me. Did it to you, Lady Bagshot? I'm afraid it didn't. Oh, it sounded more like a, a lot of uber jubes or something. I demand that Dr. Trist be dismissed immediately, Mr. President. Just a moment, Colonel. The, the evidence is very conflicting. We want to be fair to Dr. Trist and his boys. I quite agree. Thank you, Lady Bagshot. Yes, I definitely so. Yes, I all agree with that, Lady. This can be settled quite simply. Dr. Twist, you will enter eight of your senior pupils in the forthcoming inter-schools examination in London. Upon the results of that examination, we'll rest our final decision. Splendid! Now you'll be able to show us what St. Michael's really can do. And I haven't the slightest doubt of the result. Neither have I. <laughs> this way! 
gentlemen. Time for the 2.30. Oh, well, I like that. The idea, a voice of your age talking about going to Epsom. You're going to the docks. All right, we'll go there if you like. You'll do nothing of the kind. Pardon me. You've got to stay right here and work. There's only 24 hours before the examination, and, and you've got to learn your English history, study your Latin and Greek, and, and, and polish up your botany. How about French? Time enough for you to learn French when you speak English. <coughs> yeah. Anyway, this is an English school's examination, and French won't be necessary. <coughs> Get off the table. Come on, boys, take your books. There you are. Now, you've all got to work very hard while I go and see the dean and hand your names for the examination. Hey, it's a mess still. I've got two. Two? Well, there's only be one each. Who hasn't got one? Your bag, sir. Thank you. Oi, have I got to learn these names? Yes, certainly. What, all of them? Yes, all of them. But there are thousands of them. I don't care if they're millions. You've got to learn them. What, and the numbers, too? And the numbers, too. Numbers? What are you talking about now? What have you got? Oh, you've got the telephone book. Here. And don't try and work any funny jokes on me. Now, sir, place your hand on this, will you? That's fine. Well, at all events, sir, Dr. Twist, sir. you're just in time for the photograph. You'll put on your cap and gown. Oh, yes, I, I have them here with me. Uh, oh, uh, I, um, uh, I haven't had my lunch yet. Uh, uh, can I offer you a crisp? No, no? Oh, well, perhaps it is a little early, yes. Uh, oh, this is Dr. Simpson of the Merrydale College, Professor Martin of Eastminster and Professor Brown of Ruggingham, gentlemen, Dr. Twist of St. Michael's. Now, uh, where would you like me to stand? Oh, please yourself. Oh, oh well, uh, I'll stand next to this gentleman sitting down. I'm standing up, sir. Uh, good gracious, are you? Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Pardon me. <coughs> are we all ready, gentlemen? Quite still? Thank you. Well, that's over. Oh, by the way, Dr. Twist, have you your nominations? Uh, oh, yes, here they are. Oh, splendid. Uh, and now, gentlemen, I have a little surprise for you. Of course, I'm telling you this in the strictest confidence. But the French government are especially interested in this examination, and consequently it has been decided this year to award the highest percentage of marks for French. And naturally, gentlemen, you won't breathe a word of this to your boys. Uh, uh, well, if you'll excuse me, Dean, I'll just run along and tell my boys. Uh, uh, tell them that uh, they mustn't work too hard. Uh, yes. <laughs> good, good day. Good day. Good, good day, gentlemen. Uh, well, me too. Going you too. Don't mind, Dean. I'll be running off. Twist me another. Pay me double. Hey, this is a funny pack. Three aces of clubs. What's the game? Pontoon. Here, come on, pay up. Who's teaching you this game? Quick, go, man. The all of her. Accept the invitations. Pete, come in, sir. Peace in order. The free establishment and the parliament. The hope with Lord Beaconsfield at home. Boys, speak. boys. Somebody been smoking? Yes, the chimney. Yeah. Oh. No, oh, they must have made the fire with woodbines. Well, boys, I've got some very bad news for you. Yes, you've all got to learn French. French? French? Yes, French. But you told us we didn't have to. Well, never mind what I told you. The dean just wrote me to me that they're going to make French the big subject. Yes, but we don't know any. I do. You do? Yes. Mademoiselle for Mama Tears Parley Yeah, There, that's enough from you. That's quite enough. Hey, you. What are you reading? Ruff's Guide to the Turf. How dare you read stuff like this when you ought to be studying French? Where'd you find it? In your trunk. Yeah. You keep out of my trunk in future, will you? Come on out with those French climbers. Come on, let go, let go, let go. Oh, look what you've done. Hey, who paid for all that lot? It's on your bill. Yeah. On my bill? Well, I like that. Holding all the food you can't pay for. You're nothing but a disgusting lot of gluttons. Well, that reminds me I haven't had my lunch yet. This is not my case. Good heavens, the examination papers. No, 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 no,
Oh, 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 Dean. Oh, yes. Dean. Yes? Your case? Uh, my case? Oh, oh, well, yes, yeah, yes, certainly. Uh, yes, at once, sir. At once, yes. Yes. Now, yeah, what did I tell you? He's coming up here for this case. Go on, oh, open those windows, get rid of the smoke. And sit down properly. Go on, tidy up the place a bit. Go on, you clear all those things away. Come on, hold here. Oh, well, I can't let him come in here. The place smells like a poor ale bar. Listen, don't make any noise. Oh, I'm, I'm so, so sorry. Is this mistake? mistake. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, do you know what this case contains? No, what? All the questions for the examination. Now, oh, really? If they were lost, the whole of the examination would have to be cancelled. Good job, too. Uh, I say it was a good job we discovered the mistake in time. Uh, 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 may I take this opportunity of saying a few words of encouragement to your boy? Uh, oh, no, no, no. I don't think it's the time to encourage them. You see, they're, they're busy sweating, uh, sweating hard for the honour uh, of the old school. Uh, 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 these lists are never here when you want them, are they? I'd like to know the couldn't do that. Hey, what have you got there? Send you a copy of the examination questions. But do you mean to tell me you pinched one after all? Well, I'm, I'm disgusted. The boy might just stoop so low. Give it to me at once. Give it to me. Give it to me. I must return it to the dean at once. Here, yeah, wait a moment. You want us to pass this exam, don't you? Yes, but not that way. All right, it's your funeral. You'll be the one to get it in the neck if we don't pass. Why, what do you mean? If we fail, they'll shut down the school and you'll have to go back to work. Yes. 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 Or back on the dole. So make up your mind. No. No, I'd rather lose than win that way. Why, I'd never be able to hold up my head again. Well, I'm sure you can answer the questions anyway. They're bound to be easy ones. <coughs> what are they? Translating to French, I am the master of my fate, I am the captain of my soul. Oh, that's easy. Is it? Yes. Go on, then translate it. Uh, oh. Well, well, je suis, uh, je suis, uh, what's the French for master? How do we know? Well, look it up then. Look it up yourself. We want to get on with our game. Yeah. Give me a hand. What the very idea. Give me those cards at once. Now listen, if they find out that we've pinched that paper, you're going to be in trouble. And if we don't pass the exam, you're going to get it in the neck too. So all you've got to do is to find the answers and we'll do the rest. Now hop it. We're busy. I'll buy one. Chris? Yes? Not you. Listen, I don't think it's fair that I have to do all this work. After all, it's your examination, not mine. And you're bust anyway. Sauce. You mean to do... Oh, I like that. Translate into French, honesty is the best policy. Oh, would you gentlemen be good enough to distribute the papers among your respective boys? Of course, I need not remind you that after the distribution, you will hold no further conversation with your pupils. <laughs> Is anything the matter, Doctor? Uh, oh, uh, no, I was just looking to see if they were the same questions. The same questions? Uh, oh, yes, yes, the, the same questions that the, that the others have got. Well, naturally they are. <laughs> I need hardly remind you, gentlemen, that it is your duty to see that the examination is carried out with due circumspection. Uh, yes, yes, certainly, Dean, certainly. Now, boys, <coughs> now, don't forget, I, uh, I expect you to put up a show worthy of St. Michael's. Why? Do you want us to fail? Yeah. Here are your papers, Septimus. You were first last year with 98%. We expect 100% this year. Oh, thank you for your confidence, sir. Yeah, now you see what we're up against. <laughs> a favourite doesn't always win. That's the spirit, my boy. It sometimes gets nobbled. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> eh? Hey? When the bell rings, the examination will start. I shall also ring the bell once as a signal for you to change subjects, and good luck to you all. Well, will you keep your voice quiet? My voice? Yes, this one. It was. Septimus, how dare you? Don't you dare me. I saw him. Gentlemen, please. The examination has started.
lies behind ain't half going it. I'll fix him. How did that happen? Allow me. Oh dear, you've broken one of the lenses. What a calamity. Sorry, chum. I believe you did it on purpose. What? What's all the trouble? He smashed my glasses. Clumsy young oaf. I shan't be able to see out of one eye. Well, nil uh, desperando, my boy. Remember what Nelson did with one eye. <laughs> Change subjects. The next will be French. I've finished, sir, in spite of my handicap. Yes, you would. I thought you said you nobbled him. I'll get him this time. <coughs> Change subjects. Come on, come on, you heard the bell. Surely we have another ten minutes. No, you haven't got any more. No, you haven't. Come on. Come on, hand them over. Sir, but I haven't. haven't you finished yet? No, sir, it cannot be time to change the subject. The boys haven't been able to finish their papers, sir. I've finished. Yeah, boy, sir. I've finished too. There you are. I see all my boys have finished anyway. But they couldn't have finished. There hasn't been time, sir. You're not questioning my action, Dr. Simpson, are you? Kindly collect the papers for her at once. Pardon me. Yeah, I say there's, there's a... Oof! Hey, what's the idea? What, what are we playing at? Can you get... Jones, you'll be late on parade. Yes, sir. Give any luck, your old man will be well away by four o'clock, and the fog's coming up a treat on the moor. Good. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's the idea of lolling about like this? Get in the line. Oh. Hey, Jones, you're late. Yes, sir. 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 Oh, step farther back. That's better. The right number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On the eight, command, four, eight, four. Eight, eight. All numbers, uh, stay where you are. And even numbers, get back and get in behind the, behind the others. You know what I mean. What are you chewing? Gum. Oh, come out here. How dare you come on parade chewing gum? Throw it away at once. You have to ask Watson. Well, what's he going to do with Watson? He only let it me for the afternoon. Oh. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I thought it was your own. Get back into place. One, four! Hey, hey, there's something wrong here. Uh, uh, form, uh, has, uh, uh, come back here. Come on, come back here. Go on. What's your number? Three. What's yours? Three A. Well, remember that. Th three A? What do you mean, three A? Number again. One, two, three, three, eight. Four, 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 eight. Four, eight. Four, 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 Shut up! What's it going to be? China? Will you be quiet? Stop chewing, you, will you? Alison, will you please be quiet? And this is why I tell you what I want you to do when the colonel arrives. Tell us some other time. Here he comes. Uh, where? Uh, Watson, tell Albert to throw your chewing gum away. Uh, Shun! Present! Um! Good afternoon, Doctor. Oh, good afternoon. <laughs> well, don't keep your men standing at the present. Uh, oh, no, I forgot. Uh, uh, squad, uh, put your guns down. 
Put your guns down. That's not a command. As you were. Now, tell them to slope. All right, boys, slope. <laughs> It means, madam, that the convict has escaped from prison. But that needn't interfere with your parade. Get your men back into line. Platoon, come on, follow down here. Run me. A convict has escaped. The chief constable's compliments, sir. He wants to know if you will assist in organizing a search party. Nothing I'd like better. Right, jump in. Oh, wait a bit. Wouldn't it be a good idea to get the senior cadets to help? I don't know, sir. There may be danger. Nonsense, man. Jolly good training for them. I'll give orders immediately. Platoon! Huh? Now, boys, I'm going to give you a chance to show your mettle. A convict's broken out of prison, and I'm forming a search party to assist in the hunt. Volunteers, one pace forward. March! Aha! That's the spirit I like. Uh, yes, well, I don't like it. What do you mean, sir? Well, if a convict wants to escape, he can't expect any help from us. Besides, it's our bath night. March! Good old Willoughby! You shut up. Besides, what were their parents think? Don't forget, I'm responsible. Any true Briton would expect his son to help in a case like this. Here, yeah, yeah. here. You get back. I think the Colonel's right, Doctor. Uh, well, I don't. Oh, uh, do you? Oh, well, well, all right. So that settles it. I'm going with the police. Well, I'll come too. No, Doctor. You must stop and lead the boys. Must I? And if you catch the convict first, that'll be one in the eye for the Colonel. Yes, but there'll likely be one in the eye for me, too. <coughs> well, search party! Turn! Form forward! Left turn! Quit march! Hey, 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 where are you going to? Not that way! Hey, boys, get out of here! This way, go on, get down! Follow me! Oh, oh good, good evening. Keep your face shut unless you want me to alter it. What are you doing here? Uh, uh, Blackberry. Oh, no, you wasn't. You was looking for me. Well, don't be silly. I, I, I wouldn't even know you if I met you. Well, you do now. I'm Artie Jones, the escape convict. Uh, oh, 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 well, how are you? Give me that shoe. Uh, why, what, what would you do with one shoe? Well, I'll put it on with the other one. Come on. Uh, there you go, tunic. And your trousers. Oh, oh, oh I can feel. Hold this, please. Why, it's old Twister. Yes, come on, boys. Let's have a help. He's after me. He's got my shoe already. Come on. There he is. Dad, Purse. Hey, I say, do you two know each other? He's my old man. Oh. Who are they? They're my schoolmates. They're all right. And who's he? Oh, he's nobody. Yeah, so uh -huh. let's be my father. Here, here, here. I shall say, you've got to go back, you know. Back, back where? Why, uh, back to prison. What's good of us having prisons if people won't use them? Besides, uh, where else could you say? Never you mind. We'll look after him. But remember, you've never even seen him. Oh, well, that suits me. And if any questions are asked, I shall simply say I was mind doing my own duty. What's the use of that? A haddock's no good. What you want is a red herring to put bloodhounds off the scent. I couldn't find one. Besides, a bloodhound won't know the difference. It's the smell that counts. I say, Jones, what, uh, what happened to the... Uh, what, the old man? Yes. Don't worry about him. He's safe enough now. Oh, good. You know, I have a jolly good mind. What have you got there? Can't you see? A haddock. Oh, well, where'd you get that? Fenced it out the larder. Yeah. Well, I like that. That's for my breakfast. Go on, take the string off and put it back at once. We'll put it back when we finish with it. Well, we'll see that you do. I say, what are you doing here? Smoking a cigar. You can't stay here. Oh, shut up. I'm miles away before tomorrow. Where do you buy these? Well, Lady Bagshot gave them to... What's she going to do with you? Come on, you get out of here. I right, supposing... Hey. What's the matter? The police are coming. Police? Here? Yes, with bloodhounds. Bloodhounds? Oh. We're sunk. Well, what are we going to do now? You've got to stall them off. Me? Certainly not. I refuse to be an accessory. Can't I do something? You are picked. Not 
you, you're going to talk to him. Who, me? You have to keep him out of here. But uh, what, what'll I say? Anything you like, but if you bring him in here, I'll bash your face to a jelly. Now jump to it. Oh, hello, Colonel. You hunting for something? Yes, and the bloodhounds have trailed him here. Oh, oh fancy, have they? Oh, but, but sometimes bloodhounds are mistaken, you know. Maybe they've been following my ship. Oh. I must ask you to open this door. Stand aside, man. Well, uh, that's my study. There's nothing in there. Well, we'll find out. Out of it, Artie. The game's up. You better come out of there quietly. We've got to cover it, Artie. What's this? Uh, that? Oh, that's, uh, uh, that's my breakfast. Yes. <coughs> Not only has St. Michael's passed the inter-schools examination, but we've come out on top with 100% and special honours in French. Hooray! 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 Uh, well, boys, I must say that I'm very, very gratified at uh, this result. And uh, I certainly had no idea that, that hidden amongst you was such a... Uh, uh, that, uh, 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 such, um... What do you think of this, Doctor? Uh, oh, uh, isn't it splendid? Uh, yes, isn't it? But do read it to the boys. Uh, read it? Oh, oh, all right. Uh, uh, le gouvernement français. Le, no, I think the boys would like to hear you read it. Oh, no, the honor's yours. Oh, is it? I think we must accept without delay. You can't say no to that, Doctor. Oh, no, I suppose not. Uh, good. Then you read it to the boys while we send an answer now. Come along, Colonel. Anybody here read French? I do. Where did you learn it? My mother's French. Oh, I thought you could have caught it here. Well, read that. The French government offers hearty congratulations to St. Michael's on the phenomenal success of its pupils in the recent examination. Ah. <coughs> yes, that's right. Mm. They will be honoured if Dr. Twist will accept this as an invitation to come to Paris with his boys and demonstrate his system of teaching at the forthcoming educational conference. RSVP, Duval, Secretary of the Education, Paris. Good old twist! Good old twist! Uh, out of my way, out of my way! I'm in a hurry! Uh, come on, boys, let me go. Now, now, don't mess about, I'm going to stop that telegram. What for? We're all going to Paris, aren't we, boys? Sure, sure we are. Oh, no, you're not. You know jolly well you can't speak French and neither can I. Ah, oh, but I can. Yeah. What's going to do with you? I'm coming with you. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. I'm taking Percy's place. I've got an important date in Paris, and this is a chance in a million. Well, you don't think I'd agree to a thing like that, do you? If you don't, and I'm pinched, you'll get three years. Uh, three years? Who? What for? For harboring a convict. Uh, you, you wouldn't do a thing like that, would you? Well, besides, you've got no witnesses. Oh, yes, he has. Oh, who? Us! Oh, that's it, is it? So you're threatening me, eh? Well, I'm not going to be threatened. Listen, I've gone downhill far enough, and I'm not going down another step, and that's that. You know what to say, don't you? Uh, yes. You're, uh, you're 26 and rather backward. Go on, get on with it. Look out, the tents are at the barrier. Take a look at this man coming along. He looks a bit suspicious to me. Excuse me, sir. Do you mind showing me your passport? This doesn't look much like you. Perhaps you're all right. Thank you very much. Did you do that? Yes, I did. He called me a crook. Well, it serves you right then. Why, well, you big baby. You're big enough to eat him. Oh, he's very backward for his age, you know. You've no idea the trouble I'm having with this boy. Come on, get through. Go, go. Come on, boys, come on. These are all my boys, sir. Go on, pass along. Hurry up. Go on. Hurry up. Come on, come on. bring you to Paris, city of the arts, of progress, 
of learning. And I will conclude by saying it gives me great pleasure in my capacity of Secretary of Education to welcome you, Dr. Twist, and your brilliant scholars who have so distinguished themselves in French. <laughs> Quite your flirt. Monsieur. Me? Oui. Uh, oui. Us. Vous. Oh, je. <laughs> Uh, 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 pardon me, pardon me. Uh, boys, come on, upstairs to your room. Uh, and now, upstairs. monsieur, I have a little program which I have arranged for tomorrow. Uh, what do you say if we make a start at the Louvre? Uh, yes, I think there'd be a jolly nice place to go to. Uh, au revoir, then, until we meet at the Louvre. Au revoir, monsieur. Au revoir. Come see, come ça. Au revoir. Yes, any time you say, Clico. Ten o'clock, Devil's Kitchen. Okay, I'll be there. Devil's Kitchen? That sounds a hot joint. We'll go with you. No, you don't. I'm going in business. Oh, go on, be a sport. We want to go places. Go places? Oh, no, you don't. Remember what the Colonel said when he saw us off? Yes. He told you that when you got to Paris, you were to keep your mind on your business. Yes. He didn't say anything of the kind. He said that while we were here, school discipline had got to be maintained. Now, come on, off to bed, all of you. Come on. Oh, 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 we we don't want to get Never mind what you want. Never mind what you want. Go on, off you go. Go on, all of you. Go on, go on. Go on. No, not you. Come here, I want a word with you. I thought you said that when we got to Paris, you were going to disappear. That's all right, mate. I'll hop it. Yes, but when? I'm going to have a little nap first, but I promise you I'll be gone before morning. Yes, well, see you don't wake the boys up. Oh, they won't hear me go. Well, thanks for having me. Having you? I mean, I'm the one that's been had. You know, you're a good old scat twist. I shall remember you when I pay my boys' school fees. <laughs> yes, well, by then I shall be too old to care. <laughs> Monsieur le Président, Monsieur le Vice-Président, <coughs> Monsieur le Secretary. Vous êtes... Vous êtes... Monsieur le Président, Monsieur le Vice-Président, Monsieur le Secretary. Vous êtes... Oh. Now, but turn on your side. I say, boys. 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 Hey, here, here. Where are my boys? Where are my boys? Come here. Wake up, wake up. Where are my boys? Oh, uh, oh, uh, I mean, entree. Oh. Well, what do you want? Oh. Uh, I think we've taken the doctor by surprise. Yes, I'm afraid you have. I, I, I didn't expect you till tomorrow. We decided to fly over at the last minute. And the dear boys, how are they? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, they're so-so. Uh, some are more so than the others. I've uh, put them to bed early. They're all fast asleep. Uh, listen. Oh, so they are. <laughs> Snoring like little piggies. Horrible noise. Can't you shut him up? Uh, yes, I... Uh, oh, no, I think... Uh, I, I think we'd better let uh, sleeping pigs lie. Uh, they've got to be up at eight o'clock in the morning. Eight? Preposterous. Lazy little monkeys. You must get them up at six. Who must? You must. Oh, well, it hardly seems worthwhile going to bed at all, does it? <laughs> well, now that you're here, can I, uh, can I offer you a, a slice of something? No, thanks. We'll have something when we come back. Why, are you coming back? Yes, we're staying here. Oh, how jolly. It's getting late. We must be off to the opera. Oh, of course, of course. Perhaps Dr. Twist would like to come, too. We're going to hear the tales of Hoffman. Uh, no, no, I, uh, I don't think I will. I, I've heard most of them already. I think they're very funny, don't you? Cette porte, garçon. Vous voulez me dire, qu'est-ce que 
Uh, have you seen my boys? Uh, they are Napu. Uh, and the Kapani Vu? Uh, how many were there, sir? Um, you saw, uh, under... Uh, oh, you speak English. Uh, there were eight. Uh, they took a cab, monsieur. But they asked me not to say well to. Oh, I see. Here you are. Merci, monsieur. They went to the devil's kitchen. Oh, did they? Oh. The whole job should be done in a minute and a half. The Mona Lisa will be ours, and we shall be in Cobra. <laughs> we should be in Quad, more likely. You don't like the plan? I think whoever thought it out should be made to do it. I can't just stroll into the Louvre and knock off Mona Lisa like pinching a fairy stockings off a bargain counter. Well, how can you do it? Oh, shut up. Let a bloke think. I got it. What? This ain't a one-man job. Bonsoir, monsieur. I'm very in. I'm bad on, monsieur. Here, here, show you. Don't even worry. Here, here, Put me down. Oh, Mason, the Papa don't say, Papa, I'm in court. I'm not in court. I'm 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 Hey, come on, get out of this. And you, and you, and you, and you. Oh, oh I, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know it was yours. Oh, I bet you say that to all the girls. Oh, indeed I don't. I, the occasion has never risen before. Come on now, go on, out you go. Come on, wait for me in the lobby. We're going straight back to the hotel. Go on, outside. Nice carriage on these. Now, go on, off you go. Uh, oh, and the room on the uh, tipper, uh, lid. Chapeau. Ah, oui, monsieur. Vous avez un ticket. Ticket? What do you mean, ticket? Comme ça. Un ticket comme ça. Oh, raffle. No, I don't want any of those. No, no ticket. Give me a hat. Come on. Thank you very much. No, that's not mine. No, no, it's not that shape. It's a... Well, it's a No, no, it's not this. No. It's a... No, 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 it's not this color. It's a gray. Gray, please. But it's a lot. Gray. That's the color, but that's not the shape. It's a... It's a... A different shape. It's a trubi. No, 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 you're colorblind. No, it's a... It's a trubi. Hold that. It's six, seven, eight. Hi, fellas, you want to earn a fiver? Sure, what's the idea? I'll tell you in a minute. Follow me. Come on, old Crystal's here. He's going to take us home. Never mind about him. If anybody asks for these boys, they're gone home. Savvy? Oui, monsieur. Listen, mates, you know how to act tough? Act tough? We are tough. Go on, then. Pile on the agony. That's a... Uh, no, 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 it isn't this kind of hat at all. It's, it's one of the others. You're going to loot tomorrow with the old man, ain't you? That's uh -huh. right. All I want is for a couple of you to start a fight when I tip you off. Will you do it? What's the idea? Listen, if you want to earn that fiver, you'll just fight. Are you game? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You'll fight me? Yeah. There you are. I don't like it. These are a lot of schoolboys. We want men for a job like this. Don't you worry about them. Boys. About 10 o'clock, you'll find me in number one gallery. I shall be there with a the girl artist with copying a picture. Is he bit down there? I don't know. Have a look. I want my hat! Let me steal off! No! Chief, come sir! Ah! Oh. Voila, monsieur. Have you seen anything of seven boys? Oui, monsieur. They have just taken a taxi and gone home. Oh, it's about time, too. Absolutely disgusting allowing boys of their age not walk like this at this time of the night when all, all decent people are, are in bed. This is not my hat. This is Sir and the chapeau. Uh, that, that's not my hat. No, monsieur. No. Perhaps monsieur will put a meet me then to show him to a table so you can make the Bible looking for it. Well, uh, could you? Uh, uh, oh, I thank you. But remember, it's only to define my hat. Of a lovely evening like this And you look like someone who won't deny me Just a little innocent kiss 
Chérie, dis-moi ce que tu fais ce soir Je ne peux vivre sans toi Chérie, dis-moi ce que tu fais ce soir Tu me prendras dans tes bras Une de tes caresses Folle de tes tendresses Si magnifique, si électrique Et béco, gros béco L'amour que tu sens pour moi, chérie, tes lèvres sont faites pour boire, l'ivresse de mon émoi. Oh, donne-moi ton cœur, qui est si qu'avec le mien, chérie, dis-moi où tu seras, dis-moi où tu vois ce soir. Baby, what you gonna do tonight? And tell me where will you be? Baby, baby, what you gonna do tonight? I hope your evening is free. I'd love to do something romantic with you. Some blissable, permissible, something you'd care about. You kissable, baby, loosen up and let me know. If I have a possible chance, maybe kisses in the night will grow into a healthy romance. I'm holding my breath now. Oh. Don't scare me to death. No, Sherry. Tell me what you're gonna, what you're gonna do tonight. Oh, uh, uh, je ne pas, uh, uh, kiss, uh, uh, I didn't order that. Jimmy, I did. Oh, well, that's different. You will drink with me, no? Uh, yes, I'm afraid I won't. Uh, je suis Tito. Oh, just a teeny weeny bit to please you, Uh No, not even the teeniest little bit. It's, uh, it's, it's against my principles. No, no, it, it's not what I indulge in. It's not bad, is it? <laughs> I just don't think. Oh, the cologne. rather late for supper, Colonel, we've got to get up at six o'clock in the morning. Not a bit. Well, if you wait for me in the restaurant, I'll go and tell Twist to make it eight o'clock. Dr. Twist! Poor thing. Four men went to mow, went to mow a meadow. Four men, three men, two men, one man and his dog went to mow a meadow. Tell me, Benjamin, have there been any women in your life? Women? Let me see now. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, what is this? We had 12 cooks in three months. <laughs> Five men, four men, three men, two men, one man and his dog went to mow a meadow. No, I mean women like me. I don't know how you can cook. I might give you a trial. You know where Dr. Twist has gone? All I remember, he gave me 20 francs to forget. Oh, you natives are all alike. 20 francs. Ah, my memory recovers. He went to the Devil's Kitchen, a nightclub. Nightclub? Hundred and ninety seven men, hundred and ninety six men, hundred and ninety five men, hundred and ninety four men, hundred and ninety three men, hundred and ninety two men, and ninety one men. Hey! I told you, I told you you'd go home. You did, but we want to enjoy ourselves the same as you. Yeah, well, you've got to be up six o'clock in the morning. Who said so? Colonel. He, go on, off you go. Go on. Off you oh, go. Benji, let them stay a little bit. Uh, well, uh, all right, you stay for five minutes. I've had some drinks, Twister. Yes, you've been treating yourself all right. Why not treat us? Hey, I don't want any insubordinates. Uh, I don't want any insubordinates. Uh, pardon me. I don't want any cheek. Gasso! Oh, here, bring uh, seven ginger pops.
doing that, are you? Hey, you get, get the lot of me. You know, you know you're allowed to do some damage, you see? Look at this guy. Oh, that's just what I've been telling the little little commander. Oh, that's quite nice. The most famous picture in the world, La Joconde, the woman with the inscrutable smile, the Mona Lisa. Who's she? Why, uh, don't be silly. Why, even you must know who the Mona... Uh, Mona, Mona who'd you say? Mona Lisa. Yes, yes, right, of course, yes. Why don't you pay attention? The Mona Lisa. You remember, there was a song about her, Mona the Moocher. All right, boys, when I drop my handkerchief, fight. I wish you'd tell us what it's all about. If you want that five, I don't ask questions. Get over there. Naturally, you will recognize this picture by one of your famous English artists. Uh, um, oh, yes, of course, yes. Yes, it was, um... Uh, Turner. Eh? Uh, Turner. Uh, don't be silly, it's only canvas on the other side. No, Turner the artist. Uh, oh, yes, yes, certainly, yes. Turner. Oh, mais no, it is Millet in his conventional pre raphaelite style. Uh, oh, yes, to be sure, yes. You took the words right out of my mouth. I didn't give anything. Doctor, there are two boys missing. Where are they? Two of them? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, I expect they found something. Uh, something we didn't see. I'll go look for them. But what about... How fix it? Go out! Now, dear, I'm in the place, I'm here. You're not trying to do that sort of thing at home? Go on, go on, please. Sorry! Sure yeah. uh, good gracious me, what, what are you doing here? Oh, Benjamin, I'm an artist. I only sing for my living. And I paint for love. Well, at ten o'clock in the morning. Well, I, I can't stay now. I've got to be going. So have I. Yeah. Oh, no, please, please, not here, not here. Oh, Benjamin, you don't like me half as much as you did last night. No, well, I don't feel so well as I did last night. Well, little Benjamin. Uh, no, 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 please, please, you mustn't talk to me that way. Besides, I've got to get away. So must I. Ah, chérie, this is here. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, yes, but not here. Oh. Yeah. Why, what's the matter? Oh, I feel faint. This canvas is so awkward. Couldn't you carry it for me? Oh, why, I certainly, yes. Oh, that's much better. Thank you. 
Oh, my dear Dr. Twist, I thought you had gone astray. Uh, oh, oh, no, no, this is a cousin of one of my boys. Oh, mademoiselle, it is a pleasure. Oh, monsieur. Oh, it is charmant, the charmant. Uh, yes, but where are the others? Uh, they have all gone. Oh, well, I must go too. What's the matter with you? Uh, all the copies of the pictures that must be left here. Uh, permit me. My good man, do you know who I am? No, and I don't care. Oh, I am the Secretary of Education. Oui? <laughs> I am Napoleon. Oh, c'est trop fort. Vous êtes un impudent. Vous dites? Il dit, vous êtes un impudent. Vous êtes bête. Idiot. Mufle. Crétin. Crapule. Bandit. Bandouille. Canaille. Collignon. Chameau. Cochon. Uh, it's your turn. Oh, that's a call. I'm afraid we must leave it this time, but I will put this jack in office in his place. Imbécile! Parvenu! Uh, allow me. Oh, merci, monsieur. You dare to come and tell me that to my face? Well, I was out, you know, around the place like a left luggage office. Ah, the, the theft will be discovered any minute now. Yvette, you must leave town at once. Oh, what about me? You, you can go and lose yourself like you lose the Mona Lisa. Ah, mon cher ami! <laughs> well, you see, I have got it. Oh, splendid. Oh, I made trouble for that little clerk. He will not refuse me again. Oh, that was very nice of you. Oh, no, it is a great pleasure. For a girl as charming as your little friend. Oh, but do a lot more. Well, I'll bet you would. Uh, monsieur? I say it's, uh, it's very good. Well, I'd better phone her and tell her I've got it. I will come with you. Gaston, I was told I should find you here. Oh, good afternoon, Doctor. Oh, qu'est-ce que c'est que ces façons-là Va-t'en Hello For you. Hello Mr. Twist, he's got it. He's got the Mona Lisa. Is he tumbled? No, he still thinks it's my copy. Oh, tell him you'll be over right away. Better. Somebody declared war. Oh, far well, our Mona Lisa has been stolen. Has it really? Yeah. Hey, hey, what's it? What, what does he say? He says that the thief stole the picture from the Louvre this morning between 10 and 12 and left a copy in its place. Are you sure they left a copy? But of course, the real picture has the secret mark of the artist at the back of the canvas. A mouse. A mouse. What do you want? Someone's knocked off the Mona Lisa and a 50,000 francs reward. Yes, and we think we know something about it. Oh, you're not the only ones. Yes, but we've got an idea who's got it. I know who's got it. Who? Oh. Me. <clears throat> Lummy. And we thought Artie had pinched it. Artie? What's Artie got to do with it? We thought him and your little bit of homework had pulled it off together. What? Do you mean to tell me that he and she had arranged it? They planted it on me and they're on the way here to get it. Why not give it to them and get rid of it? No, I can't do that. That'd be aiding and abetting. Don't get the wind up. Why not take it back quick and claim the reward? Yes. No, I'd have to explain how I got it. And they'd say I was a party to the theft. Gosh, you are in a mess. Yes. Well, I'm afraid there's only one thing to do. I'll resign and you boys have to go back to London. But what about you? Well, I'm afraid I shall be in Paris for a long, long time. Listen, fellas, are we going to stand by and see the old man done down by a lot of crooks? No! no! Up the school! Up, up the, the school! school! So there is a lady, a gentleman downstairs who demands to see you at once. Uh, oh, all right, thank you. Nothing. It's them, they're here. You leave this to us. Now go down and stall them. Yes, what are you going to do? Never you mind. We'll get this picture back in the Louvre somehow, even if we have to learn French to do it. Well, don't do anything rash, Albert, will you? I'll go on and off it. And keep them talking. Come on, get this picture off of here quick. We can't take this back like this. But how are we going to do it? I'll fix it. Oh, hello, Benjamin. Where's my picture? Listen, I've just discovered something. It's not your picture at all. It's the Mona Lisa. Oh, no. Yes, yeah, I might have known you'd have something to do with this. Never mind the compliments. Where is it? I'm not going to tell you. It's got to go back. 
It's not honest. Come on, there's no time to argue. There you are, Doctor. I've been looking for you everywhere. Excuse me. We mustn't be late for the Congress, you know. Oh, no, no I've forgotten all about that. Anyway, stay where you are. I'll be back in a minute. Look here, we must go into the station in the bridge. Let's get it. Oh. I bet they won't find it now. Who is that? It's me, Art. Open the door. Hold that. Right. Give me that. Now, what about our car? I'll give you a cut. Oh! This way. Hey, what are you boys doing here? Oh, that's all right. They've been helping me with one or two things. Here, is everything all right? Yes. Come along, up you go. We're waiting. Uh, you sure there's no... Uh, Don't uh, worry, we'll get that Hurry up! Have you got your things, Doctor? Yeah. Oh, yes, my things, yes. Uh, your glasses, Doctor. My glasses? Yes, yes, I've got those, yes. And your chart, Doctor, you mustn't forget that. Oh, no, no, my chart, yes. Hello, Where, where's he gone? Look, Doctor, there it is. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Yes, right. There you are, gents, the Mona Lisa. Uh, Monsieur le Président, uh, uh, Monsieur le Vice-Président, Monsieur le Secretary, uh, Mes Dames, uh, Monsieurs, Garçons, uh, Je suis, uh, well, in view of the existing good feeling between our two countries, I do not propose to continue to speak in French. I will therefore deliver the rest of my lecture in English. Stay please. There is quite a lot I could say on the subject of education. But I think the best thing I can do would be to illustrate my method of teaching by means of this chart which I have here. In fact, I can say with all due modesty that I consider this to be one of the world's masterpieces. Dr. Twist, I arrest you in the name of the law for the theft of the Mona Lisa. Dr. Twist is our honored guest. I say he has got it, and it's in here. But this is not the Mona Lisa. No, and they ain't covers neither. Here's the Mona Lisa, and there's the dirty cooks of Pinch Street. This, I believe, belongs to France. <sighs> Dr. Twist, you have earned the gratitude of the entire French nation. Oh, it's very nice of you to say that, but really the credit belongs to the boy. Oh, then to them we must give the reward of 50,000 francs. Yeah. Uh, hey, hey. Oh, no, no, fair's fair. They get the credit, but I get the reward. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>